The pharmaceutical companies have had free reign to gouge sick people. They forced into law language that prohibited the federal government from negotiating with the drug companies for lower prices, which already the Veterans Administration does and has done for decades. We know that negotiating for fair prices actually is the only way that we're going to be able to lower prices, and, uh, and that is what H.R. 3 is going to, going to do. Um, even Donald Trump has said that when he was a candidate, when it comes to negotiating the cost of drugs, we are going to negotiate like crazy. That was then, and this is now. The Congressional Budget Office, has, office says we're going to save about half a trillion dollars when we negotiate in the most effective way to protect seniors and families and anyone who has insurance. And we're going to be able to use that money to finally help senior citizens who need help with their eyeglasses, with their hearing aids, with their dental care. We're going to be able to make such a difference in their lives. 90% of Democrats and 87% of independents and 80% 80, 80 of Republicans say they support allowing the federal government to negotiate for prices. The time is absol absolutely now for us to pass this legislation. Um, the H.R. 3, the Elijah Cummings Lower Drug Cost Now Act, is the solution that we have been waiting for, a historic step forward in our fight to solve the problem of prescription drug, uh, the prescription drug pricing crisis that we face in this country. And I look forward to seeing it um, pass into law and the President of the United States keeping his promise and not breaking it and signing negotiation into law. And I yelled back.